Uh, all right, Jim, we're running a little bit over. We got to yeah. get to a college football. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, excellent comments, I'm sure. But uh, we got to uh, we got to uh, keep keep the pace up here. Jim, the bag in college football yesterday in those games. I nailed it. I nailed it, Jim. I gave two official picks, both of them cash, but I said I liked Ohio and the under. Those are my leans, remember? So if you jailed those, I said I liked, uh, uh, you know, the, the Kent State uh, Western Michigan game over was not even close, right? 46 and a half, and by kickoff, I think it was like 45 and a half, so it went under, it went to 67. I said I like Central Michigan to win, and the over in that one, and that one cash. So, all right, tonight, it's in, it's, we got three games. Uh, all very interesting games, of course, because North Carolina has been a uh, a. Uh, oh, and I just want to mention one thing: Kobe Aaron Valentine. You know that guy. We uh, we we respect him a lot. We respect his opinions a lot. He you made, do. He he made you don't you don't. No. <laughs> okay. He uh, he made a a, a very uh, a play that made me nervous. Kobe Valentine. Do not take Houston Rockets. Cavs beat every playoff team. Only time they get up to play. Which uh, was you also know, a sentiment echoed by. I hear else. Uh, nobody. Uh, nobody is giving me more hate. Since I started with SBR, oh, and, really? and Kobe Valentine, yeah. really, he he, uh, he just shat on me nonstop, and he he's eleven and nineteen down fifteen units in the beat the back really contest. eleven, Ooh. and he gave Ooh. up, he Ooh. quit. Ooh. Ooh, 11 and 19 down 15. Hasn't put, in, hasn't put in picks the last two weeks. Wow, a little bit of intra-Canadian tension here. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I love fights that I'm not involved in. No, I'm kidding around. I hate fights. I love peace. I hate fights. All right, sorry to bring that up, Jim. Are you okay? I'm okay, but no one, no one is giving me more hate than that guy. You know what he called me? Actually, right off the top, he called me. He called me a lispy faggot. He called you a lispy faggot. He called you he the called F me a word. lispy faggot. What'd you do? What'd you do? I talked. Well, what'd you say back to him? I don't need to say anything back to this fucking guy, man. You mean say back to him? Oh, Jim. No. You gotta get rid of that asshole, Jim. You gotta get rid of that asshole. Throwing some Doritos bags all over the place. Spray paint that Jim was here, right up in that asshole, Jim. Right up in the. Then if I spray paint it, tear anything, that asshole open, Jim. No, that's what a. That's. That's what he wants. He you wants gotta, his asshole eaten get, out. Get, get up in that asshole. Throw the Doritos and the newspapers all over. Spray I'm not going to go. Jim was here right now. I'm not going to go anywhere near his asshole. All right. Okay. All right. You know what I was doing there, right? I do. No. You, but, but my impression there was? What was it? Curb your enthusiasm. Remember when Leon tells him what to do about the skinhead? <laughs> do you remember that? You I remember do that? remember that. I yeah, love Curb. Yeah, but. yeah. It was one, of, one of the greatest scenes maybe in all of comedy over the past uh, 10 years or whatever that was. All right. So anyway, uh, let's move on. We got to keep moving on. Uh, yeah. So two teams that are involved here uh, that are that are uh, the North Carolina Pittsburgh game is very very tricky we will get to that but UNC of course has been a lost year for them uh, they did make a little bit of a rebound last week against uh, Miami which I was sort of anticipating and I'd be looking to bet on them here except that Pittsburgh is also in a little bit of an up spot as well that new running back that they have I mentioned him before he is a guy with with a with a lot of talent and great uh, uh, personality or a great mental focus and uh, he's a guy I don't really want to be betting against so that's interesting the other the game is Appalachian State, Georgia Southern. We'll get to that in a second. Of course, Georgia Southern, another team on a lost season. And these teams with lost years uh, at the end of their seasons can sometimes be a big auto fade or sometimes be a big play on. They can be very tricky. We'll get to that. One bet I did make, though, that I will give as an official pick, Ball State and Northern Illinois. Uh, I did I did give the, I did bet the under on that one. I got 52 and a half. Uh, there's no 52 and a halfs available anymore, but there are 52s. And uh, I just feel like, uh, you know, Northern Illinois is off a loss to Toledo. Uh, I don't think that Northern Illinois Illinois, a judgment call. Don't think Northern Illinois is going to want to run up the score here. Definitely don't think that Ball State's going to be able to do much offensively. And, uh, you know, last time Northern Illinois was this big of a home favorite, they won 24 to 3 against Kent State. And I think we'll see something similar there uh, to, to that game tonight. So I'm going to take the under 52 minus 110. That's the straight line market wide. Ball State, Northern Illinois, under 52 minus 110. That's definitely an official pick. Uh, and uh, and that's going to be one for sure. The other two games we'll discuss. Not sure if I'm going to give an official pick on uh, either of those, but in the Georgia Southern Appalachian State game, uh, I would definitely be leaning over and definitely be leaning Appalachian State. Uh, it is a rivalry game, and the coaching change helped Georgia Southern a little bit recently, but Appalachian State's off of uh, you know two losses that don't sit well with them, and uh, I'm assuming that they're going to come to play here. It's a short week. I don't think Georgia Southern's really going to have what it takes 
to uh, to be competitive uh, in this game off of a short week. I do think, though, that Appalachian State's going to have a big offensive day and that the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the option, you know, offense for Georgia Southern will be able to put something up. So I am leaning Appalachian State minus the points and the over. And in the UNC Pittsburgh game, uh, I would be leaning UNC getting all those points. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, off of the, the you know, the, the, the extra rest uh, probably helps them more than it helps Pittsburgh. I'm not going to give that one as official pick, though, only because there's a lot of positives. Pittsburgh is also a team that's kind of on the rise right now, and I don't want to bet against them. So I'm not going to give that one as official pick. I might be leaning Georgia Southern up. Uh, Appalachian State over and Appalachian State minus the points. By the way, my overall record in college football, 91 and 77, plus seven units, plus 3.8% ROI. And this week, of course, four and one so far this week. I've given uh, Northern Illinois under. I'm going to think about uh, the Appalachian State game. I might give some picks on those uh, officially. Jim, do you have anything to say about either of these three games? Because we do uh, still have to get to the NFL. Yeah, we today. have to get to the NFL quickly. I, uh, the Ball State, I think this is a situation uh, for Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois for Marcus Childers to get some confidence throwing mm -hmm. the deep ball. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to experiment with him throwing deep because that's eluded them all year. Mm -hmm. And that, that is something I, I was concerned about maybe them trying to score a lot of points because they're going to try to use those roots that Childers right. has had so much problem with and uh, so much problems with. And Cardinals have allowed 170 points in their last three games. And But you're right. The Huskies 23rd ranked defense. I don't know how Ball State is going to put anything on the board. And then uh, the Eagles, the Georgia Southern uh, you know, almost beat Georgia State last week. They were up 17-14 with 231 left. Uh, but their passing game is, is just god awful. Third worst in the nation, averaging 106.4 right. point yards per game. Um, and then uh, the one thing about Appalachian State is that I think that senior Taylor Lamb is going to want to add to the state record, uh, Appalachian State record for career touchdown passes and, 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 and put some points up on the board. Mm -hmm. But I think your leans are right. Um, I, I'm ba bang on. Uh, I, I thought Nor you know North Carolina showed a lot of heart, almost taking out the undefeated Hurricanes two weeks ago. And then, now they've had a week off. So the Tar Heels had 22 players out with injuries mm -hmm. and now have the bye. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that should help them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that should, uh, they should. They'll, I think North Carolina will play better than they've been playing. Yeah, a lot of great comments. We got to have an after show where we just uh, talk about these comments because I would love to get to it all. But uh, one question I want to address uh, a handicapping question. Anil Frank is asking, does that mean you think Ball State will cover Pete? Not necessarily, but I definitely am not going to take uh, Northern Illinois here just because I'm not sure Northern Illinois is going to be motivated to run up the score enough to cover a 32 point spread and a Ball State gets a touchdown. Now you got to get 39. So uh, I don't know. I have no opinion on the side as of right now. Probably. If you gave me a free bet, I probably would take Ball State, but I'm definitely going to uh, take the under. And you know what? I will throw on the over in the uh, Georgia Southern Appalachian State game. Uh, I think Georgia Southern, you know, is going to be, be very, very worn down defensively, and uh, but be able to do something on offense. I'll hold off on the spread for now. A lot of people making good points about Appalachian State being terrible on the uh, on the uh, on the spread. Drew Martin's on Georgia Southern, which I disagree with Drew Martin, but not enough to make it an official pick. I will take the over though, 54 and a half uh, minus 107. Over 54 and a half minus Minus 107. That will be an official pick over 54 and a half minus 107. All right. Let's quickly get to NFL. I'm sorry we uh, we took so long in the other segments. Uh, Seattle against Arizona. Obviously, Seattle off of that uh, shameful loss against Washington where they just had penalties, missed field goals, and everything. It was a disaster. Now they come back here in a short week against Arizona who came off a bye. The Arizona game, I nailed both of those. I had Arizona minus the points and the under. That was mostly predicated on the fact they were playing San Francisco. Now it's second off the bye. You know, Arizona, still a team that has questions, but, you know, they're at home. What do you think about this game, Jim? I think uh, I think it's a good spot for Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to cover, mm -hmm. not to win outright, but to cover. Uh, Arians will just blitz, 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 and then he'll bring Buchanan down to keep an eye on Wilson. I think that should work. Mm -hmm. uh, I really do. And Dwayne Brown is an upgrade, but one guy does not fix an O-line. Mm -hmm. uh, it all fell apart with the max under for Jimmy Graham trade. Their offensive line has never recovered. That's why Lynch didn't want to come back. Seattle rushing attack is just awful. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is a spot for the Cardinals to cover. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you want to make an official pick on this game at all? Uh, you know what? I I'm gonna I will I will I will take the the Arizona Cardinals to cover the spread. You want it? Yeah. Okay. Arizona best line would be at uh, bet the assi oh no the best line would be at U Wager right now. Uh, again, this is why line shopping is so important in football. It's super important. Mostly sixes everywhere. Bet the SI and U Wager and five dimes all have six and a half, and the best line would be at U Wager six and a half plus one ten minus one ten. Sorry. Perfect. Arizona minus six and a half, plus six and a half, plus, minus 110. Yeah. I know a lot of people are expecting a low scoring game here. I was thinking maybe a shot with the under, uh, sorry, with the over. I know that Arizona is, uh, is try, will, will try to shorten this game, but if they get down, they're going to have to abandon the run. And I think that uh, Seattle might put up some quick scores, get out to a big lead, and then it becomes a modest scoring game and it gets over the very low total of 40 and a half. What do you think about that analysis? Do you I like think, the under? No, I, I, I well, 
my, the, one of the guys that I do a lot of my NFL capping with, he thinks it could be another six nine mm -hmm. disgusting ugly football mm -hmm. game and and I wasn't I didn't really agree with where he was going but I know that Arians knows the Seahawks team inside yeah, and yeah, out and yeah. that is my concern with yeah. the with the play but I, I do think that the Seahawks can put up points mm -hmm. we've seen them be able to um, but the, I just think I, I, I trust Arians to, to figure out how to stop Seahawks. Right. Okay, well, let's wrap this up. Jim has added uh, Arizona. What? Could I just quickly add yeah, three, just three quick ones to my NFL card? Three, three more. Yeah, you already three, gave three quick, yesterday. I had three quick ones. All right, just, yeah, sure, if you don't sure, mind, sure. Really Hell, quick. sure. I'm let's go, add, let's go. I'm going to add the Jets to cover okay. against the Buccaneers. Okay, hold on one second. The Jets to cover. The Jets to cover. That would, best line would be uh, minus two and a half, uh, minus 109. Minus two and a half at minus 109. I'm also adding the Browns, Lions under. Okay, which I gave yesterday that was also one of my plays i got it at 44 minus 110 that is still available under 44 minus 110 and finally um a game that is my best bet mm -hmm. in beat the bag i'm going to take the los angeles rams minus 11 and a half i think they're going to absolutely destroy the houston texans okay la rams uh, actually line shopping line shopping line shopping we can give you minus 11 minus 105 at bookmaker beautiful Okay, it is 11 and a half bunch of places, uh, but uh, a few places have 11, and uh, and Bookmaker has minus uh, 11, minus 105. All right, so that means uh, let's just review all the uh, NFL picks that we've given. I gave uh, yesterday Minnesota minus one, Buffalo plus three, and the Cleveland Detroit under 44. Jim today has added Arizona plus six and a half, the Jets minus the points, Detroit under, the Rams minus the points, and yesterday he gave us Chicago minus five, New England minus seven, minus 110, and the under in the New England Denver game. So that's a ton of NFL picks uh, from Jimmy the Bag. All right, is that it? Should we wrap up this show? We should wrap it All up. All right, let's wrap it up. I'd love to get to a lot more comments, but we don't have time. I'd love to discuss the uh, NFL and college games a little bit more, but we don't have time. That's it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.